Welcome to Learn Biology, and today we're discussing photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is split into two main parts, the light-dependent and the light-independent. The light-dependent reaction takes place in the thylakoid, the thylakoid, which will be shown in the next slide, so the thylakoid. The light-independent takes place in the stroma. And the names, light-dependent, Light dependent uses the sunlight's energy, so uses sunlight, so uses sunlight. And light independent, despite its name, also uses sunlight, so that's always uh, very confusing to people, but always keep in mind that light independent occurs in sunlight. So the light dependent takes place in a section of the chloroplast called the thylakoid. Thylakoid are these discs. As we can see here, they are these discs that contain photosystems. Photosystems are objects within the thylakoid that contain pigment to absorb sunlight. And light dependent deals with two photosystems. Photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. Always keep in mind that photosystem 2 occurs first. So occurs first. So photosystem 2 occurs first. What we must also understand is that the products of light dependent fuels light independent. So the products fuel light independent. So the goals of light dependent are to oxidize six water molecules, oxidize meaning lose electron, release oxygen, produce ATP and NADPH for light independent. So light dependent fuels light independent. And the products of light dependent are 12 NADPH, 18 ATP and 6 oxygen molecules. And what exactly is NADPH ATP? Well, NADPH is a molecule which fuels light independent reactions. So NADPH is needed for light independent. So needed for light independent and ATP meaning adenine triphosphate is also needed for light independent reactions and ATP is instant energy within cells so let's begin light dependent reactions use the reactant here's the photosynthesis uh, equation that we went over in another video we have six CO2 plus 6H2O yields C6H12O6, which is glucose, plus 6O2. So the light dependent is using this right here, the 6H2O. So here we go. We start with H2O. We have H2O. H2O is oxidized, so it is oxidized by the sunlight and turns into 2H+, plus, which is the same as an electron. So an H plus and E negative are carried together and then plus an oxygen. The oxygen goes out into the atmosphere. So atmosphere and combines and becomes O2. So we're done with the oxygen. This right here, the 2H plus E negative, is carried into photosystem 2. Remember we said that photosystem 2 occurs first. So here we have photosystem 2, also known as P680. So photosystem 2, P680, takes, here let's just change that, so photosystem 2 
x like a gradient and using the sunlight's energy so the sunlight's energy it energizes the electrons it excites the electrons so it to show the excitement of electrons will show it going up a line so e negative is getting excited then the electrons start to become stable again and go down a gradient so they are becoming less excited and when they're getting less excited the what happens in between is that this right in between here when it's going down on ADP on ADP so we'll change the color here ADP is the stable form of ATP yields so ADP plus P becomes ATP so an ATP is crea created every time this electron moves down the gradient so ADP plus P yields ATP so this stable form of ADP bonds with a phosphate and becomes energy so there we have it another one becomes ATP so another ATP is created and this goes on until we have a whole 18 ATP so we are done with the one of the products as we can see back here we have the product 18 ATP so 18 ATP are created as these electrons go down they are led into photosystem 1 so PS1 also known as photosystem 700 so photosystem 700 so let's just change it right there the photosystem 700 these electrons again are led down into the E negative E negative they get excited again because of the sunlight so sunlight in the photosystem excites the electrons again and they go up the gradient so we have E negative going up the gradient again when they go up the gradient all the way there is a NADP waiting up here so there is an NADP waiting up here NADP is the stable form of NADPH so NADP comes here and this electron reacts with this NADP and adds the electrons because the, remember there's always it's E negative H plus so this yields to NADPH so this occurs 12 times this occurs 12 times so 12 NADPH are formed and they are formed through the process of reduction so reduction so they remember the Leo says Ger gain electron reduction so there we have our next product 12 NADPH and that is simply what the light dependent reaction is so now what happens is that the 18 ATP and the 12 NADPH are used to go into the light independent reactions so thank you for watching learn biology and next time we'll cover the light independent reaction